Hey everyone, it's Amy. Today I have for you the fall release for Light Elegance. This is Ellie Rocks. So it is that time of year again for Light Elegance to release their fall launch and they did a surprise on us. This one launched um, a little bit later than it normally does and they also changed up some packaging and some of the things with the brand. So let's get into the swatches first, then we'll do some comparisons, and then we'll talk about everything at the end. So I did pick up the Buttercream collection as well as the Glitter collection. So let's go ahead and start with the Buttercreams. So starting off, we have Rock My World. So here's what Rock My World looks like. It is a really pretty olive green shade. And I am gonna have to do a second coat, I think, of this one. I'll probably do two coats of all of the um, buttercreams and then just one coat of the glitters. Next, we have I Lava You. Here's what I Lava You looks like. It is a metallic magenta shade. Now, we have seen a lot of these types of colors from Light Elegance before, so I'm curious to see how this compares. Next up, we have Taken for Granite. Here's what Taken for Granite looks like. It is a pretty, cool tone brown. It's about like a medium brown, not too light, not too dark. Next we have Perfect Cut. Here's what Perfect Cut looks like. Now it definitely is gonna need a second coat to build it up, but it is like a rich, deep red. It is super pretty. Next, we have Can You Dig It? So here's what Can You Dig It looks like. This one's more of a warm brown compared to Taken for Granite. You can see Can You Dig It is more of like that mocha type of a brown. And the last buttercream we have is Stone Cold. Here's what Stone Cold looks like. It is a beautiful purple metallic with a blue reflect in it. Really pretty. I feel like we've seen a couple different um, purple metallic shifty type shades from Light Elegance. So I am curious to see how this compares, though I do think this one is different from what we have. So let me do a second coat on the buttercreams. I'll show you what those are looking like and we'll move on to the glitters. Okay, so here are all of the swatches of the fall buttercreams. They are all super rich colors, pretty jewel tones. I really like the range that we have here and they're super rich. So let's get into the glitters and see what we're working with. This first one is Pints and Quartz. Here's what Pints and Quartz looks like. It is a pretty champagne-y type of a glitter. It is really pretty, but I think we've seen this before. Next, we have Amethyst Kiss. Here's what Amethyst Kiss looks like. It is a super, super fine glitter. It was a lot finer than I thought it was gonna be, but it's a purple base and it does have a little bit of blue flecks scattered throughout. Next, we have Your Gem. Here 
is what your gem looks like. This is a uh, fine magenta pink glitter. Now, I opened this and I immediately thought it looks like that rosemary glitter that we have, so this will be interesting to do some comparisons with. Next, we have Mother of Pearl. Here is what Mother of Pearl looks like. It is an iridescent glitter. This looks so close to Swing by Sweden, which is one of my favorite favorite iridescent glitters so I am going to be curious to compare it to that one because it off the first look it looks very similar. Next we have Diamond in the Rough. Here's what Diamond in the Rough looks like. It's another rosy type of a glitter. Let me compare it to Pints and Quartz. So a darker and a more rosy version of Pints and Quartz. And again, I feel like we've seen some of these rosy champagne-y type of glitters, so I am curious to compare. And then the last glitter I have is Clean Slate. Here's what Clean Slate looks like. It is a gray glitter. It's like a gray with silver in it. Um, this is almost a lighter version of Tall, Dark, and Handsome. That one's more of like the black charcoal gray glitter. Um, and I'm wondering if we do have another gray glitter. This one is gonna be, again, interesting to compare. So let me go ahead and top coat those and come back with the swatches. Okay, so here are all the glitters in the collection. Um, nothing crazy, we don't have any big chunkies or anything. We have these two, Amethyst Kissed and Clean Slate are like a super, super, super fine glitter. And then I would say Pints and Quartz, Your Gem and Diamond in the Rough are their normal glitter formula. And then Mother of Pearl is a little bit bigger, but not much. So let's go ahead and do some comparisons. I want to start with the buttercreams first and then we'll do comparisons for the glitters. Okay, for Rock My World, I have two from Light Elegance here, which they are going to be different. So here is Rock My World. Here is Ringmaster, which is more of a gray green and pack your passport. It's a little bit more olive green, but this one leans more brown, um, darker in tone too. I would say this one's close to like, uh, it's closer to a true like olive green versus these two are more brown or more gray. And here's this one from Madame Glam. This one's Prosperous. This was from their new collection. So um, Rock Your World, or Rock My World looks more olive green. Prosperous looks more like a hunter green. And here's Mysterious from Madame Glam, which is more of a lighter olive green. Then we have I Lava Use. So I do have three from Light Elegance. This one is Hot Head. I just stirred it, so that's why there's a bunch of bubbles in it. Hot Head gets really close to I Lava You. I would have to see the swatch, and I haven't um, re-swatched all of my Light Elegance, which I'm getting to. <laughs> but that one looks pretty close to I Lava You. This is Sassy Squatch which is a bit brighter though. That one kind of comes pretty close as well. You can see these are similar. Sassy Squatch is a bit brighter. 
And I love use almost like right in the middle. So they do get pretty close with those ones. And this is Fuchsia Fantasy, which is a lot brighter. And this has more of a glitter versus a metallic. And I don't have any to pull from Madame Glam because um, I don't really have many shimmers or metallics. Then for Taken for Granite, I did want to pull Can You Dig It so we could see them all together with the comparisons. So Taken for Granite is that cooler tone and Can You Dig It is that warmer tone brown. So I do have a Sandman Tan, um, which is quite a bit lighter, but that is, we don't have too many browns from Light Elegance. And then Road to Zanzibar, which is not close to You Can Dig It, um, but taken for granted, it gets a little close, but it's not exactly the same. And then there is Bearded Lady from Light Elegance, but that one's a very dark brown, so I didn't pull that one. And then here's a couple I pulled from Madame Glam. This one is Boston is Calling, and this one's like almost an exact for Can You Dig It? And then this one is Taste Like Glam, which is a little bit lighter, but it does get very close to Taken for Granite. And then this one is We Were On A Break, but that one is a bit darker. Then for a perfect cut, um, we didn't really have like a dark red. We have a lot of the dark reds that have the shimmer to it. So this one is Whiskey and Wine. This one's from last year's winter collection. It basically is perfect cut, but with a metallic finish. I did pull Unruly Red, which is more of like a bright Christmas red. And Jester, which is a little bit more on the pink side. So this is a good addition for a non-shimmery dark red. And here is Deep Burgundy from Madame Glam, um, which is a little bit deeper, but it does get fairly close to Perfect Cut. And then the last one here, Stone Cold, I do have three from Light Elegance, and then I didn't pull any from Madame Glam. So this is Center of Attention, which is a lot, it's almost like a neon purple in this. It does have that purple blue, um, but this is more of a neon versus Stone Cold is almost like that plum base. This one is Nippy, which this one is dark, almost like a wine, maybe Merlot type. And then this is Let's Limo. And Let's Limo does not have a shimmer to it, though I thought it did, but I guess it does not. So, Center of Retention is the only one that gets close, but it's, it's really not. So, I would say overall from all of those, um, we do have a couple that compare to Madame Glam, um, but as far as light elegance, they were good additions to the collection. So let me pull some comparisons for the glitters. Um, I'm only gonna do Light Elegance since Madame Glam doesn't really have glitters. So let me pull those. So before I get into the glitters, I did find one, one more brown to compare. Um, this is I Clove You, which is almost in between the two browns that we have, though it is a little bit closer to Can You Dig It. Okay, moving on to the glitters, we have a lot to get into here. So for pints and quartz, I pulled Nudie, Kiss Me in Kenya, Miss Suspicious, Shaker, Salt Shaker, and a couple of coconuts, <laughs> which is a lot. So let me open 
this one up. So this is our new one, Pints and Quartz. And let me slide these in here and open all of them. Okay, so right away, I do want to pull these two and I want to put them to compare with Diamond in the Rough. This one is Kiss Me in Kenya, which is more of that rosy tone. And this one is Shake Your Sh Shake Your Salt Shaker. I always have a hard time saying that. Which again is a little bit more rosy, though I think this is going to be like right in between Diamond in the Rough and Pints and Quartz. Then we're left with these three. So this first one is Nudie. Which is looking pretty identical. This one is Miss Suspicious. This one has matte glitters in it, which makes it a little bit lighter. And then this one's a couple of coconuts, which is more, um, is not as champagne-y. This one's almost like a white gold. So, but I would say Nudie is, is spot on to this one. For Amethyst Kissed, I have quite a few too. We have Witch's Brew, Safari Sweetheart, I've Got Issues, Poppy Seed, Sweater Weather, and Storm Chaser. <laughs> so here again is Amethyst Kissed, which is that purple glitter base. It does have some blue glitter reflex in it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here's all of them open. Um, there's two I already want to take out. They don't really compare. Um, Safari Sweetheart is more of a fuchsia color. And Sweater Weather is like a black glitter base and again leans more towards a fuchsia. So this one is Witch's Brew, which is our Halloween limited edition. Um, I would say the base is close. It, it's not exact for the base, but it is close. And then this one has the um, pink larger glitters in it. This one is I've Got Issues, which is a purple holographic. So you can see how it is similar, but this has more colors to it because it has that holographic. Poppy Seed, not quite comparable. Poppy Seed's base is more of an indigo color, but it does have flecks of the Amethyst Kiss in it. And then Storm Chaser ha is, again, a black glitter base. It has uh, purple, blue, and green in it. So the purples and the blues are the purples and the blues in this one, but it has the added black and the green. So not an exact dupe for anything, but I mean, it, it is kind of a mix of all of these together that we've already seen. For your gem, I actually only have one and it's that Eat Drink Rosemary I was talking about. And they're pretty spot on. I would say this is the same glitter. For Mother of Pearl, again, I only have one. I pulled Swing by Sweden. We have a ton of these iridescent glitters, but the ice, they are all a little bit different. A lot of the other ones have chunkies in them. So I just pulled Swing by Sweden. And the only difference is Swing by Sweden has a little bit more of a larger glitter in it. So Swing by Sweden kind of has some different sizes and you can see it in the lids here. How there's different sizes in Swing by Sweden 
versus uh, Mother of Pearl is all the same size glitter. Other than that, they're the same glitter. Okay, diamond in the rough. I have Shake Your Salt Shaker again, Kiss Me and Kenya again, and then I pulled Anxiously Waiting and Thunderstorm. Okay, so right away looking at this, Thunderstorm does not compare. Thunderstorm is more of a copper than a rosy color. Now the others do get close. This is Shaker Salt Shaker, which again is kind of right in between Pints and Quartz and Diamond in the Rough. It's like right in between the two. This one, Kiss Me in Kenya, starts getting closer. Um, this one's just a little bit more chunky. And then this one is Anxiously Awaiting. I would say the base for Anxiously Awaiting is probably the same as Diamond in the Rough, but Anxiously Awaiting has some fuchsia glitters sprinkled throughout. But again, like with between the three of these, it gets super close. And Storm Chaser, I have quite a few as well. Nairobi Nights, Smoke and Gun, Trunk of Love, Tall, Dark, and Handsome, and What the Hail. Okay, so right away from this, Nairobi Nights doesn't quite fit in. Um, I didn't think it would, but I just wanted to compare. It does have like a darker charcoal base, but then it has the holographic glitters in it. Um, it gives it more of a blue tint. This one, Smoke and Gun, it's a lot lighter, leans more towards like a concrete type of a color. Trunk of Love and Tall, Dark and Handsome is almost like what this is combined. Cause it's not quite as light as um, Trunk and Love and it's, it's definitely not as dark as um, tall, dark, and handsome. I'd say it's kind of in between. And then this one is what the hell. Um, Color-wise, looks pretty spot on. Um, but what the hell has more of mm, has more like flaky glitters in it versus this is your traditional glitter. So again, with this one, it's not complete dupe of any of these, but I don't know that we necessarily needed the addition of that having these other ones. So I'd say Pints and Quartz is pretty much a dupe of Nudie and Your Gem is a dupe of E Drink Rosemary. Mother of Pearl is basically Swing by Sweden, slightly altered. Um, and then I would say the other three, Amethyst Kissed, is kind of a combination of a lot of other purples we've had. Diamond in the Rough, again, kind of a combination of some of the rosy colors we have, as well as Clean Slate is a combination of some of these other gray glitters that we have. So nothing super new as far as the glitters go. But with that, that kind of leads me into my discussion of their new packaging. So this is the new packaging for Light Elegance Glitters. They are a white matte jar. They still have the big um, label on the top compared to the black jars with the silver lids. They are a little bit smaller. These are 10 milliliters. And the old ones, let's see, does it say? I want to say these are 12. Oh, these are 17. So these are quite a bit different. So the old jars are 17 milliliters, new jars are only 10 milliliters. There is a price difference though. So these are cheaper than what these would run. And then they also did updated packaging for the P plus colors. I have not ventured into the P plus. I usually go with, well, I was going with the color gels for a while and then I recently switched over to the buttercreams. So they have 
the buttercreams, they have the color gels, they have the P plus, and they have the glitter gels. Um, buttercreams are staying the same and glitter gels are staying the same with the exception of the updated packaging. P plus as well is staying the same with the updated packaging. They are no longer doing the color gels at all. So I'm wondering if they're going to transition any of the old colors into the buttercreams or if we're just gonna have to say goodbye to all these colors. I'm not sure. Um, if you guys have more knowledge, let me know. I, since I was doing this video and I was getting these to review, I didn't watch any of the information from Light Elegance or from any of the um, ambassadors for Light Elegance. So I'm sure they've talked about it. I don't know if there is a plan of what they're doing with them. Because my other question is, since a lot of these glitters are very similar, or if not exact, to some that we already have, if that's just them transitioning them over to this new packaging, or again, if they're still going to redo those old glitters into this packaging. Not sure. So that was all the packaging information that I have. You guys let me know if you know anything else about the packaging and what they're gonna do with all their old colors. If you have any insight, let me know. Okay, so to get into my final thoughts, and I know this video was kind of a lot talking about the new packaging and talking about all the comparisons and everything, so I'm gonna try to keep my um, overall thoughts short. The glitters, I'm not a fan of because they were very similar to stuff I have. Now, if they are getting rid of the old ones completely, then I understand why they're bringing some into the new formula. If they're still keeping the old ones and they're gonna repackage them, then I don't feel like this was necessary. However, I do like the buttercreams in this collection. So again, they're not doing the color gels anymore. You can get the colors in either the buttercream formula or the P plus formula. So since buttercreams are already a hard gel, I think that was their whole thing. They didn't need two hard gel colors. And that's also probably why they were starting to do the buttercreams with the collections versus before the buttercreams had their own collections, they were completely separate. So that is how they made that transition over. So you guys will have to let me know what are your thoughts on all of the packaging and what your thoughts are of the collection as a whole. What are you picking up? What are you not picking up? Give me everything. Tell me everything. All of your thoughts in the comments. But make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my swatching and comparison videos. Make sure you subscribe for more videos coming out very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.